non più drai farfalo ogni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo. Alright, welcome to your cousin Vinny's kitchen. Today, we're making pork chops. Vinny pork chops today. What do you think of that? It's not Italian, but it's pork chops. Everybody likes pork chops. Wrong. Nobody likes pork chops. Nobody ever likes pork chops. So why would I make pork chops? The thing about pork chops is when you make one, and you make it good, no shin god, when you make it good, people are gonna be like, oh, what did this guy do to my pork chop? People are wondering, what, where am I getting my pork chops from? You eat one of those shake and bake type pork chops and all you're thinking the whole time is... No, God! No, God, please, no! No! What the hell does a pork chop even taste like? I just know what shake and bake tastes like. You gotta cook them on a cast iron pan. There is no other way to cook a pork chop that I have found out yet. Cast iron. One of the most important things you got in your kitchen is your cast iron pan. And you gotta treat it right, all right? Your cast iron pan isn't one you leave in the sink for two days because your wife said, I gotta let it soak so I can scrape it. You take care of your cast iron pan, whoever you are. When you get a cast iron pan, you clean it right away, no soap. You want to taste what you cooked six years ago on that cast iron pan. Here's what you gotta do. And I want you to get center cut pork chops on the bone. None of this boneless stuff. You get boneless, you're gonna be eating shoe leather. Before you even think about cooking it, I want you to take your pork chops. You're gonna brine it first. What does brine mean? I have never heard of brine. What do I do? How do I brine it? Boil some water, about maybe a quart of water. You're gonna throw in about a quarter cup of salt. Half a cup of sugar, dissolve that salt and sugar in the boiling water, let it cool down to room temperature. Once it's room temperature, throw your pork chop in there, all right? Let it sit at least an hour or two. Today, I let mine sit for about, I think, six and a half hours. You can let it sit up to eight hours in the fridge, all right? Now, take your pork chop out, pat that bitch dry, and now we're gonna season it, all right? You're gonna take some salt, and you gotta rub it all over it, okay? A little bit of salt all over it, all over the fat. Same with the pepper, all right? You're gonna put a little pepper on. All right, but let me tell you some ingredients you're gonna need, all right? You need one pork chop, two cloves of garlic, three rosemary sprigs, salt, and pepper. All right, so after you season your pork chop, it's time to get cooking. You're gonna take your cast iron pan, put it on the stove top. You wanna bring it up to about a medium high heat. After your cast iron is hot, you're gonna throw two tablespoons of butter in there. Let that melt down. As soon as it melts down, you're gonna take your pork chop, you're gonna put it on there. Once you put your pork chop on, you're gonna flip it every minute. You're gonna cook your pork chop to 135 degrees. Take it off at 135 degrees. You're gonna let your pork chop sit for about five minutes, and that temp will rise up to about 145 degrees, which is what the USDA wants us to have it at 145 degrees. Right as your pork chop's about to be done cooking, when you're on that last minute and you know you're gonna take it off, you're gonna throw in another tablespoon of butter, you're gonna crush your garlic, and your rosemary, you're gonna take both of them, you're gonna put them right in the pan with the pork chop. Let that sizzle on the butter, take your pork chop off, tilt that cast iron pan, take that butter and drizzle it all over your pork chop. Minka, that's your pork chops. That's your pork chops. And that's your cousin Vinny's pork chops.